Hello, Richard. Yeah. Hey, this is your neighbor. I live over on Burton Road. This is Roy. Yeah. And uh, we're doing a yard sale today. You were aware yeah. of that, that right? I uh, know. Oh, okay. Yeah, we set ours up, up weeks ago. So you shouldn't be having a yard sale today on the same day we're having ours. Why not? It's a free country. Well, you're stealing our business. No, I'm not. Oh, Goodbye. yes, yes, you are. Hello. Hey, you need to shut down your yard sale. This is bullshit. You need to shut your mouth. This is bullshit. This is a free country, and everybody on the block can have a yard sale. It don't matter. It's a free so country, but you're calling. you're being an asshole neighbor. Somebody up, Bert. He Somebody said, we're, up, we're taking it. We're taking his piece. Really? We're taking what? What? He's got a yard sale on Bert. He said, we're stealing his piece. Oh, I'm not going over there. Sounds unstable. How do you get our phone number? Oh, I don't know. Hello? Hey, you owe us $20 because we put an ad in the paper, and, and now you're using our ad in the paper to, to steal all of our business? For our I don't think so. Oh, we did not put an ad in the paper. I, no, I, I know put, you did, but no. Uh-uh. Yeah, but Sorry. You're, you're using my ad to get business. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You guys are a bunch of thieves. Well, then... You're taking money from us by having a yard sale. No, no. We set up our yard, yard sale weeks ago. You should have checked well, Craigslist. I'm sorry. You're an idiot. I'm sorry. You're an idiot. If you call one more time, I'm calling 911. Oh. And I'm sending them to your house. Well, I'm going to tell them you're an asshole neighbor. Well, you go right ahead because that doesn't bother me in the least. Well, it should. You shouldn't be an asshole. And you should shut down your yard well, sale. Well, you shouldn't be an asshole by calling me an asshole. Well, you're the Who bigger you asshole. you think you are? You're Some big king of the world? You're costing me money. I don't think so. Oh, stop it. Just stop it. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. Got some live ones around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't go over on Burton. <laughs> I know. I'm going to avoid that one. Oh, my God. Where's the uh, money from him? Because he put a head in the <laughs> That's what the claim is? You owe me $20. That's what? <laughs> Really? Oh yeah. That's messed up. Oh, Jeez. Just my <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. When I told him I was going to call him, yeah. him, him, him and send him over to you to get my money. Good luck with that. <laughs> They're crazy. Town's full of them. I got now you can put it right? <laughs> hey, I bet that's living proof. Drivers don't affect you. <laughs> Probably. No, oh, there you go again. Oh, no. Don't answer this. <laughs> City of Muskegon. <laughs> City of Muskegon. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Marshall? Yes. Uh, this is Dave from the City of Muskegon. Yeah. And we understand you're bogarting uh, your neighbor's yard sale? No, I and am not. We're going to have to ask th that you shut that down immediately. Why? Because he had his yard sale registered first and you're stealing his business. Oh, I whatever. I am not. I'm serious, ma'am. I don't ma have help to do it. You need to pack it up. I cannot do that and I won't. You need to pack you it up. It. Maybe do it next weekend. Bye. Because this... <laughs> What? I'm having a yard sale next week. Do I got to worry about something? Probably. <laughs> well, hopefully well, he doesn't call the well, police. We excited your day. Over you did. Most yard sales aren't this exciting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go park out in front and tell people come here. <laughs> Have a good night. Mm, fuck yeah.
There we go. Get back! Get back! 41168 South Hollywood, right? Yes, that's me. I didn't order pizza. You didn't order pizza? No, uh-uh. Are you sure it's 41168? What's the number on there? Yeah, that's my parents' house. What's the name? Does it have a name on it? That's my parents' last name, but I did not order a pizza. I mean, do they live here? No, no. No, this is my house. But I didn't order a pizza. Okay. What's so the right phone number or anything? That's my parents' house in Mount Juliet. That's a 754 number. Like, 754 is a Mount Juliet number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I heard something over in the speaker. I don't know. No, that's my camera. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. I, I mean, I'm confused I, also. I just heard somebody say, uh, when I was it said so they hold on, putting pants on, and then right before you came out, I heard somebody say, put the pizza Where did that any get out? I, do you work, who do you work for? Pizza Hut. Okay, I don't understand why you're acting so strange right now. No one that said anything. Uh, I, I, I'm just telling you what I heard. I don't know why I heard that, but... Okay, you're making something up right now because okay. no one said that. No one's inside with me. Okay. Okay? I don't, I don't know. I mean, would you like me to... Can I check it and see? Now, do they give this number? Like, if they call... If someone calls, yeah, if I mean, I don't ever order pizza. If someone calls, is yeah, there a caller ID? Get, no, I have a caller ID. I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a total, I'm a totally honest with you. I'm a totally honest with you. I, I, I rang the doorbell, and I heard, so, and it was an older gentleman, it wasn't your voice, uh -huh. say, I, I'm putting, uh, I'll be right there, putting my pants on. And then I heard something like, that just the, right before you came to the door, Somebody said it, it, the, it came from somewhere. It felt like it came from right there, but there's no right. speaker there. And I hear something like, I mean, like put the pe uh, like get off my porch, get get out, or something like that. I'm so, I mean, unless someone, <laughs> I'm not, unless someone hacked into my Wi-Fi to get on this because that's how it's set up, then I, I don't know what's going on because I. I'm sorry, I did not order. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all good, man. Hello. Hello, is Patricia there? Hi. Uh, just a second. Let me get her for you. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Patricia. Yes. Yeah. What can I do for you? Well, well, my son was there a little bit ago. I'm I'm over on Brock's Road. On what road? Brock's Road. Just down, oh, the, down, Brooks. The, yeah. Uh huh. Said Brox. Anyway, yeah, my son was there, and um, you sold him porn. What? You you sold my son porn. He's only he's only thirteen. I, we don't have any here. I know, I know you, you don't have any because you sold it to my son, my thirteen year old no. son. What? I don't know what that would be. That was a pornographic. Could you bring it back and let us see. Well, it was it was porn magazines. And I got really angry, and I threw them in the fireplace. But there, there were uh, oh, like hustlers. The magazines, huh? You know what? The magazines that I put out are Good Housekeeping, Reader's Digest, and Hustler. They, we're we're Christian people here. And, we don't have any and, porn. I wonder if somebody stuck it in. And Playboy when they took the magazines out. I'm well, looking right now. It, it was a big stack, and I'm like, "Where'd you get these?" And and, no, he, and he's like, "Over no. at Patricia's, tr Patricia and Bill's house." No, and, and, I didn't get them here. And and, and he said and honestly, yeah, I, I'm telling my, you the truth. We're Christian people here, and my my, and we don't look at porn, we don't read it, we don't do anything with porn except sell it. Unless somebody stuck it in our, my free box without me knowing it. Oh, that's a likely excuse. Um, because but, I have a bunch of magazines talk a lot. here. We have Hunter, American Hunter, Country, Playboy, Good Housekeeping, Plumpers, Taste of Home, Fat Chicks with Dicks. Uh, nothing. Uh, he he said that when you handed him this giant stack of porn magazines, you you winked at him, and then you, you're like, "Have oh, have fun, that's, kid." That's not true. 
I never handed anybody any magazines. They're all all my magazines are in a free box right at the end of the driveway. Well, my son doesn't lie. Maybe it was Bill. Can I talk to Bill? Oh, certainly. It wasn't Bill either. Maybe he'll get angry. Uh, but I'll let you talk to him. Okay, yeah, because you're yeah, sure. irritating I'm me. I'm so sorry about that, but oh. it wasn't us. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, right. He said a package of uh, stack of porn magazines that I went to. Oh, you you didn't get him. You didn't get him here. Oh no, my son. He said that that you, uh, Bill, handed him the magazines and then you winked at him and, and you're like, "Have fun, kid." <laughs> that's it wasn't what, here. It wasn't me. Oh no, that's what he said. He, why would he make up the names, Bill and Patricia? I don't know. I don't have no idea. I mean, you know as well as I do that thir- thirteen-year-old boys do not lie. Uh, oh yes, they do. Oh, mine doesn't. Don't say my son's a liar. Well, I, I you didn't get it here. Oh, no, I didn't. No, my son did. He got a big no, stack he of did, magazines. He did not. He got he a bunch, did not. bunch of Playboys. No, tell me, tell me, tell me where I live. Over on <laughs> Road. Where? What do you mean where? At your house. Where's my house? In your yard. Stupid. Okay, you're you're playing games with me. No, I'm not playing games. I'm not. I'm not interested in uh, playing games with you. You didn't get it here. I, I didn't. Don't care no, what he told you. my son did. He brought home all these porn magazines and said he got them from your yard sale. And there's also a oh, couple. He did not. There's a couple good housekeeping, but most of it's just Playboy and Hustler. Playboy and... He's gone. Hello, Bill. I'm not going to talk to you about that anymore. You oh, get it oh no! You asked you for want... your address. You asked for your address. I'm looking on the label on this hustler. It says 3816 on the, on all the address labels for these porn magazines. I, I don't know what you're talking about. They would never come here. Well, why are they addressed to you on these address labels? If you got any other problem, you call the police. Well, why would I call the police? Why not? Cause that, I, well, I have warrants, so I, I can't call the police. Oh. But well, anyway, I, I, yeah. There's just, nothing more to discuss. If okay. You, we'll, just, well, you didn't get him here, you can burn him. <laughs> oh, I already did. That'd be a good thing to do. we're Christians, and we don't read porn like you do. Well, then why don't you burn him? We, we will. Just watch okay, us. Okay, good. But we I should, guess we got that taken care of. But I want a refund still. I want my 50 cents back. You didn't get it here, and, and, and we didn't sell any magazines. Yeah, the magazines s- we had were free. You sold them to my son. And they were, they, uh, you're, you're, you're confused or mistaken. Well, why, why do the address labels have your address on them, on all these porn magazines? I, I'm done talking. Like, all the Playboys are addressed to Bill, and all Bill. the Hustlers to Patricia. Okay. I guess we're done. This sounds like a crank call, you know? Yes. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Well, don't let it ruin your day, okay? Yeah, hey. I'm not very happy with what happened here with the stuff that I got. I got some shampoo. What? I got the da- the goddamn shampoo over there. You got what? The goddamn shampoo. It's stuck to my hair. It won't come out. What is stuck to your hair? The fucking shampoo shit. It doesn't come out of the hair. It doesn't come out at all. I have no idea what you're talking about. I bought shampoo. What kind of shampoo? It says Gorilla Glue on it. Well, why would you put Gorilla Glue in your hair? That's it's, it not was in the shampoo, shampoo section. And I asked the guy, I said, is this shampoo for your hair? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. We don't have a guy. We have no guy that works at this store. He, he said that he worked there. He just told me that. That's all it was. I said, do well, you? Well, we don't have a guy that works here. I said, do you ask, do you work here? And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah. And he gave me, like, the okay Are sign. you? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you calling the right store? Yeah, you're behind, you you're, go to? you're behind the nasty Mr. <laughs> over there. I know where the hell you are, motherfucker. You better watch your mouth, dude. Sorry. What happened? This dude said he came in here and bought shampoo. And you answer it. See what he says to you. 
I don't know what he's talking about because I didn't sell no shampoo to no guy, but he said it was Gorilla Glue. I said, why would you put Gorilla what? Glue in your hair? Pardon my friend. <laughs> what? I hope it's somebody we know That sounds crazy. Looks like Sam This is Serena. Yeah, listen, uh, you need to put her back on the phone. Oh, well, what's the problem? Because she, she told me that this stuff was shampoo, and it's not, and it's stuck to my hair now, and now I ruined my hair. And I have a wedding to go to uh, tomorrow. Well, <clears throat> shit. Um, Fucking shit. What store did shit. you go to? You're the family <laughs> behind the mystery. Yes. Yeah, put her on the phone again, because I'm. I, I don't want to yell at you. I'm going to say, you know the C word? You know that word? Yeah, well, well I'm I'll... not going to put you on the phone with her. Um, what, is she see. a chicken? I'm trying to think of something you can use. Well, I'm trying to think of something that you can use to get it out of your hair. How about I use your breast milk or something? God, I don't know what would get Gorilla Glue out. I want her to wash my... I'm trying to... I want her to wash the shit out of my hair. I want her to wash that shit out of my hair. Well, it's got to be... I've been in the store for 16 years and we have never sold Gorilla Glue. Yeah, ever. well, she's well, what she's full saying of shit. is that we don't even sell Gorilla Glue. She's full of so shit. So it's got to be something else. She's what full of the, shit. She's full of what shit. What does the bottle look like? It's, it says Gorilla Glue. What's really, the bottle it, look like? It has a brown bottle. It's a plastic bottle. It has a picture of a gorilla and it says Gorilla Glue. And in the back it has a sticker. It says Family. It says 199 Really? <laughs> hey, I heard what she just said. Well, I'm she called me son of a bitch. Hey, you tell her. Me. You tell her I say she's a motherfucker. I will let her know. Yeah. And um, what are you? But I'm just and trying to figure out a way to help you out right and now. And what are you? And what are you? Disgusting, <laughs> stupid, nasty. What do you mean? White bitch? Is that what you are? Oh, oh. Uh huh. <laughs> Is that you? Let's see. Huh? Let's see what? Who, me? No, this is still Serena. Okay. Yeah, Serena, huh? That's, you know what that name Yeah, remi- I'm just That saying, name reminds me of urinating. Can you put her back on the phone? Like a siren from the... Can you put no, her- I'm not going to put her back on the phone. Why not? I want to apologize I don't her. know if... Yeah, no, I'm not... I want to apologize um, to her. Well... Come on, I want to kiss you all over your body, too. I want to just lay you down and kiss you all over your body. I have a van. Are you intoxicated? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a van, and I'm drunk. Are you? Yeah, I drive drive my van when I'm drunk all the time. Um, But I have a van, and it has... Okay, well, you probably shouldn't do that. I have a mattress in the back. (laughs) Can I talk? I'm sure you do. I do, and it's for fucking you. I'm disagreeing with you. Yeah, it's for fucking. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I have really good. I'm shocks. sure plenty of people have vans like that too. I have these really big shock All right, well, and it makes the car bounce up and down, and I get in there. I get sir, really if you're not deep. interested, I get in really deep because the if car, you're not interested in help, my help, then I don't really know why we're on the phone. And I also know some really good uh, positions to help out with impregnation. <laughs> Okay. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go now, okay? Right, bye honey. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh so he's he's drunk. He's okay. Drunk. He's drunk. Did he say he was he drunk? drunk? I don't give a shit how drunk he is. That's not what he calls me. <laughs> Good mother, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, he goes, oh my God. and I want to, I said, no, I'm not going to put her back on the phone. He goes, and I want to kiss all over your body. <laughs> he started talking about his van and how it has a mattress in it. <laughs> okay, sir, if you're not looking for help, I'm going to let you go now. And he said, bye, Arnie. He said, bye. Yeah, I'm like, are you intoxicated? Yes, I am. Okay. You know that, you want, these are the kind of customers we get. We had a guy that called here in the morning and told me 
that he was going around our store jacking off. Oh my <laughs> god! Downtown this is Jasmine speaking. Hi, is this the manager? No, this is not. Okay, well this is Dave from the corporate office with mm-hmm. And I understand you have some art in there, like a, a puppy or something with some bones around it. Yeah. And uh, who was this authorized by? Why Why is there art in, in there? Why is there art in here? Yes, I, I don't think we authorized any art to be in there. Oh, I'm not sure. Art, I don't know. Okay. Are you <laughs> busy right now? Because been... we, we need someone to carry all that art out the door right now and just set it out on the sidewalk. We have to, we have to set it outside? Yeah, if you could just set the phone down real quick and, and can, can you pick up this dog thing that's on the floor? It's, it's on the floor, I guess? No, I can't. Is it too big? <laughs> too heavy? Yes, and it's like um, art prize. It ends tomorrow, so the person coming to get their art prize is getting it tomorrow or well, today. We're gonna put it out on the sidewalk for now, because we can't have it in there. It's uh, copyright issues and stuff. Um, what other art is in there that you could take out right now? It's a lot in here. Oh, like um, okay. Uh, can like you- eighteen, nineteen pieces of art. Okay, we should be able to do this then. Uh, can you just pick up something right now and, and carry it out onto the sidewalk? Um, I'm going to have to call my manager real quick. Oh, well, I'm with the corporate office, so it's it's okay. I, I give your manager permission to give you permission. What? Yeah, I'm with the corporate office with s***. We just need to get the art okay. out, out of there immediately. Why? Is this somebody new I'm talking to? Yeah. Oh, who's this? She handed me the phone. <laughs> are you a customer or are you an employee? Employee. Oh, okay. I don't understand why she did that. Anyway, I'm with the corporate office with Yeah. And we need to get all okay. of that we need to get all of that art out of there right now. It's it's not authorized to be in there and there's copyright issues. And this could be just uh, what do you want us to do? Um could you just start picking up the art right now and carrying it outside? Just set it out on the sidewalk for now. Okay. Are you on a cordless phone? What? Are you on a cordless phone right now? Hello? Ma'am? Am I on the company phone? Yeah. Are, are you on a cordless phone? What? Yeah, what is your name? My name is Roy Sherbell. I'm with Great. the c- corporate office with Sherbell? Sherbell? We need to take all this art out of here. Yeah. Because um, no authorization to be in here. There's copyright issues. They have their license for art. From downtown, this is Jasmine speaking. Hi, I'm. Co- this is the corporate office again. This is Roy. We got disconnected somehow. Yeah. Was that, what happened there? Um, I don't know. But we have our license. We're authorized to have art prize stuff in here. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to take stuff right, out. But, but you don't have permission from the corporate office. So you need to get that, that fucking shit out of there right now. Just get it the fuck well, out of sorry, there. We're not gonna, Jasmine, I'm not going to be Jasmine, able to do that. I'm going to fire you right now if you don't get that shit out of there. Get it I'm out. I'm sorry, but I can't take it. I can't take it out. Well, I order you to because I'm with the corporate office. I'm with the goddamn corporate office. What the works? Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna wait till my manager calls. Can you just cover it up? Can you cover cover up all back. the art? Cover the art up. I'm sorry, with, but I can't do that. With tape napkins all over the art or something. But, um, yeah, have a nice day. I'll wait till my manager calls. Ma'am, me ma'am, look, look here, here's what I need you to do. Just whip your dick out and just start peeing all over the art. Hello? Hello, um, this is Dave. I'm a neighbor of yours. I live over on, over on Manning Street. Okay. And, uh, my wife was there a little bit ago. She's at your yard sale. Oh, about the bike? No, no, she... Uh- she she has problems. I she she went around your yard sale and she hit a bunch of money in all the items in the yard sale. Like she's just okay. slipping twenty dollar bills and everything. What? She uh, I don't know how to explain it. 
you know, she just doesn't remember things. And I don't know, she got a bunch of money out of my account. And she hid money in all of the items at the yard sale. Um, you can come on over and you can talk to my husband if you'd like. Why can't I talk to you? Um, I... Because you're a male and I think you should deal with my husband on that one. What the hell? I can't talk to a female? That's retarded. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but... Well, we're talking just, just fine. We can communicate. We speak the same language, you idiot. I just want my money back, okay? Hello? Hello? Okay, she hung up. That's weird. I'm a man. Hello. Hello. My wife was there earlier at your yard sale. Mm -hmm. And she hid a bunch of money and all the items there. Okay. And I was wondering if uh, I could get that money back. I'm not sure what you're... You know, she she just... She was... No, she didn't lose money. She was just sticking like 10 and $20 bills and all the articles of clothing and, and just random things in the yard sale. Did you find a bunch of money? Uh, no, we did not. Oh, are you sure you didn't find it and you just didn't keep it for yourself? <laughs> Cause that's what it sounds like. This really sounds like a scam. Yeah, it does. I agree with you. I had an issue like that. Yeah. They come over and we do find them fine. I don't care. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's pretty strange. I'm fine with okay, you never know. Something Did you have any crazy people, weird people show up today? I mean other than us. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you want sir. To go down to the police station and get it or, or what? I'm not sure. No, it's not your, at the police station. It's at your, your house, name? dummy. Oh, now I'm a dummy. Correct. Yes. Thank you for agreeing. So is there any way I could just come by and pick that up? I just want to look through your items and see if I can find any of the money in there. Hello? Hello? (coughs) Dummy? (laughs) I can hear you breathing. No, when I caught that call, I was like, here, take the money inside. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I like, I've, I've never done something like that. Like, <laughs> that is a bit strange. It sounds like a crank phone call. What the hell, idiot? I just want my money back, okay?